Hello everyone, welcome back to One on One Talks with Sev. Uh, we thank God for letting us see another Monday, another week to get it right. New blessings. We thank you for letting us see the last Monday of this month, January 31st, 2022. We thank him for blessing us to see this day. Some of us didn't make it. Some of us didn't make it, but we thank him for letting us see this day here. And we thank him for the many blessings he's going to bestow upon us on next month in February. We thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So tonight's subject is simply meditate on these things. Meditate on these things. My focus verse is coming from Philippians 4 and 8. 4 and 8. So, um, I'm going to start reading. Finally, brethren, what, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, Whatever things are of good report, if there, if there is any virtue, and if there is any, anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Let me read that again. This is Philippians 4 and verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things, the things which, which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Thank you, Lord, for peace that passes all understanding. Thank you, Jesus, for peace that passes all understanding with everything that's going on around us in, in, in this everyday in society and, and us just waking up each and every day. There's a lot that goes on around us. But, Lord, we just thank you tonight for peace that's going to surpass all, that surpasses all understanding and that's going to carry us over until the next month. Thank you, Jesus. Peace that passes understanding. Though prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, you can realize a peace which surpasses all understanding. And know that this peace will guard your hearts and minds. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Your natural human desire for acceptance, status, and possessions can create tension within. It can. Let me read that again. Your natural human desire for acceptance, status, and possession can create tension within. It surely can. If you perceive that your needs or desires are not going to be met, you may experience anxiety and stress. How can you be anxious for nothing in the face of such situations? Managing stress for a Christian begins with understanding yourself and knowing what scripture teaches about the nature of God. To understand yourself means to know your basic nature, the potential of your strength, and the limits of your weaknesses. Only he can show clearly where change is needed and bring about that change in basic human nature. An understanding of the nature of God comes from his self-revelation in Scripture and in Christ. John, that's found in John 1, 14 and 18. Knowing and accepting the unchanging nature of God produces stability and peace. 
understanding the quality of God. I'm sorry, understanding the quality of his character and press his trust. First John 1 and 5. So that's all I have on tonight. Peace that passes understanding. You have to know yourself. Know what the scripture says about you. You have to know what the scripture says about you. He says, think on these things. Meditate on these things. Philippians 4, verses 8, 8 and 9. Meditate on that. Just go and read it. It's not long. Start meditating. I challenge you all through the month of February to meditate on those prescript um those scriptures there. Just start right there. Meditate. What's whatsoever lovely. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are just. Think on these things. Meditate on these things. And see, don't your life, don't God bring about a change in your life. If you start thinking positive, start thinking and saying, Lord, I thank you I am going to make it. I thank you for bringing me this far, and I know for us, with a shadow of a doubt, I am going to make it. I may be going through this right now, but I'm going, I'm going, I'm coming out on the other side. I'm coming out. I am coming out. Say it with me. I'm coming out. Point to yourself. I am coming out of this. Just keep saying it. I'm coming out of this. With the good Lord help, I'm coming out. I don't with any situation. It don't matter what situation you're dealing with. Because God can change any situation that you're going through. Any situation. I don't care what it is. He'll turn your life around for the better. It won't always be like this. But you just need to think on these, meditate on these things first. And see when God starts shift, shifting your mindset. He's going to start shifting it once you start thinking about meditating on these things. Meditate on that and see. Won't your life start turning around for the better? That's all I had on for tonight, guys. I know it's short and sweet. I didn't have anything long on tonight. But I just want to bring an encouraging word to let you know to meditate on these things. Lovely things. Meditate on lovely things. Pure. And once we figure out what these things, we have to search deeper in the word of God. That's what is going to sustain us in this day and time. God's word. Not anything else. God's word. <laughs> That's what sustains me in this day-to-day -day life. His word. I have to meditate on his word, not anything else on his word. <laughs> and that's when I see my life change for the better. My life. So I pray you all have a great Monday night and I will see you all on next week. Like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you on next Monday night. Be blessed.